the home court advantage. It's the end of a string of away games for the Hawks as they look forward to returning home after this one. A lot of the lineup is Jabari Parker. They want him back healthy. Yeah, they went down a few weeks back, but the good news, the flip side of that coin, is that they're expecting him back shortly. Yeah, the wait is almost over. Finally, he's going to be able to watch his shoots at a high percentage and has really revolved, I think, into one of the elite point guards in the league. Good. Just reliable, guys. He's just... That's when you're looking to take that mental advantage. Demonstrate you're better. And that could make it easier down the road. Now, here's Teague. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points. Back to Gallinari. Shot clock at five. Three-pointer. The long-distance three is buried. It's a you don't get do-over. You got to finish the job. Young passes to the monster. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. In the strong court. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Jason Kidd. What'd you find out, Doris? Kevin, he told me that basically on the defensive end, if they can do a good job on their outside... Amazing a strategy, Clark, to take away that three-point shot. Yeah, I think it's an important part of your defensive game plan because teams nowadays are just too good to not defend them from behind the three-point line. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yes, sir, fellas. They've had it going on big time. Yeah, great momentum for them offensively. And yes, sir, that one drops. Teague's got his... Now the dish to Young. Taken away by Holiday. And Holiday with a clear path to the hoop. Now that's how to finish the break. Throw down with the push. Try to get back on defense. Well, I don't think it would have mattered even if they did try to get back, Greg. I mean, there was no way anybody was going to beat him to the bucket there. Boy, this game is off to a four. Young outside. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. 153 left to play in the first. Golinari against Adekumbo. Takes a three. That's good. Golinari's got his third basket of the night. Man, oh. Felosha comes in for Golinari. And it's Williams in for Kyle Corbin. Now, here's Adekumbo. He's coming off a 37-point game against Washington. Yeah, but he was also a force on the way of an assist. Golinari kicks to Corbin. A three-pointer is right on target. In that now here's Mayo. 17 points for him last game against Washington. Here's the monster, and he slams it one-handed. Solid on the 27. Hard to believe he's now in his ninth season. Only spent one year in college. Still plenty of room to go. No one near Mayo as he lets it go. That's good in so this game. Lopez a screen. They set the screen. Outside Holiday. That's good. He's five for nine. Boy, that was a rug. Now Williams, looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. Corver gets a wide open look, and they come right back with their Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on. Fires from deep. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Milwaukee's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. Golinari wide open. Another three for Atlanta. Williams passes to Corp. They set the pick. Down low. Collins. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. You know, and if that play is in the indication, that's a battle they're willing to put every ounce of their energy into winning. Corver, good. Dropping bomb. Six. Outside Williams and stolen by Jeff T. Fast break, Milwaukee. Teague's got the ball. Mayo, that's good. That's a quick button. There's a screen. Corver attacking. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. What they're looking for down the stretch, Clark. Just more of the same. And Kyle Corver enjoying a career renaissance, if you will, here in his 30s. A former late second round pick. Leading by five. To the inside. Out to Gallinari. 
Young for three. That is good. He's got five. Started quite well. They've been good on three of their first four attempts. Here's Collins. The offensive rebound. Here's Corver. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. And Teague, here we go. He feeds it to Lopez. Now they're even the best shooters without being overly aggressive. Now, here is Young. Five points in the game. Shot clock at six. Here's the monster. Score the bucket. He's made five so far. Shooting Teague against Young. Lopez a screen. Here's Teague. He's got five. It will go down, and the Hawks lead is back down to make it to the rim and get the finish. Holiday against Young. Pass it to the monster. Inside, Collins, and he uses both hands to jam it in. Boy, he threw out. Part of their possessions. No question he's going to be the key guy for them offensively. Those could prove to be crucial changes to their strategy with this game getting ready to enter the stretch drive. Going away 100% effort all the time. And you know, Kevin, all that effort pays off. How many of those spectacular pullback jams do we see from this guy? A bunch. That's good, and so Teague with the assist. Here's the monster. Lopez covering. Here's the monster. Rebound, Milwaukee. They'll be off to Charlotte for a game against the Hornets. Set. Oh. <laughs> He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Picked by Zeller. Williams with the ball. Now guarded by Adetokounmpo. Count the bucket by the Hawks. Capella's got four rebounds in this game. And I think the big thing for Zeller was that he found his role in the league. He, he knows he'll be an energy guy who has to make the most of his touches. And to his credit, he is nothing but behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. A shot by Hanna de Kumbo. Nobody around. Hanna de Kumbo can't get that one to fall. The Hawks leading by three. Young pass to Cephalosha. Back to Young. From past the arc. Another three for Atlanta. These defenders have been a player and why he has such a great defensive reputation. Vaughn can't get it to go. Oh, man, you know he'd love to have that one over. And that's Takumbo gets it to go. Here's Bayless. And stolen by Zeller. Young outside. Here's Capella. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. And up there at the line. He has an excellent stroke and a percentage to match. There's the three, and another three for Milwaukee. He's found the rhythm here in the third quarter, Kevin, and his confidence is palpable. You can feel it. Everything he puts up from long range seems to be falling. Young for three from beyond the arc, and then some. Young's the two guard. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Got a piece of it. Last break here. Here come the Hawks. Gallinari leading the charge. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. And a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. That way. Now here's Andy DeCumbo. Pass to Portis. He feeds it to T. Here's Portis. That's good. And so T with the assist. And they'll be counting on other areas of the game. The Hawks leading by three. Passes it to going up. There's the three. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight. Now T. Back to Anadokounmpo. And the shot is good. I mean, you never expect. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Anadokounmpo kicks to Lopez. And he goes in for the top. Now, here is going on. Cans the shot from the wing. Yes, Gallinari's yes. got five points now in the quarter. And talking about Lopez, he does clean the glass on the offensive end. He was 12th in offensive rebounds last year. However, he was 44th in defensive rebounds. That's one important area he definitely... To the paint, here's the monster. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. For Milwaukee, they've gone 8 of 11 from the field in the final period. Great shooting down the stretch. 
Here's Lopez. He dents the rim with a two-hit slam. Wow. Now, here is Young for three. And there's Corver on the assist by Young. Curry shoot more than double the free throw. That's one reason why through last season they won a lot more games than Holiday. Here's Teague. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo as that one goes in Up past the arc. Again, Young missing. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there for offensively. And Anadokounmpo spins it in. And that leader today. I think he's done a really nice job of moving and distributing it the way it needs to be done. Yeah, well, Clark, I'm glad you referenced specifically why you thought he had a little bit of game. I thought you were talking about knees and hard legs on those defenders as we come down the stretch here, Clark. T gets to Onda Tagumba. Oh! And he goes strong at the left. But he didn't try something like that at this stage of the game. They get it back. The monster. And Kyle Corbett picks up the foul. That will get him his fourth foul. 144 and left in the fourth quarter. Here's Portis. And he was fouled. Chance here now for a three-point play. This game. Lopez, no luck. The Hawks trail by seven. It's going to be tough for him here, but maybe, just maybe, it's not over yet. He cannot afford any empty position. Lopez over to help. The dish to Collins. Just four to shoot. Milwaukee with the rebound. Now, nice work there to contest the finish inside. You know, they got the shot they wanted, but his defense, I mean, deterred them from those playing. And that's an intentional foul. Here's Vasquez. From deep. Good. And now they trail by just four. Second free throw, no good than that one. Young pass to court. Back to Young, fires from deep. Moves back up, can't get it to go. Some solid defense from Andre Kumbo. And so the Bucks take the win. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, and they got pushed down the stretch, but they did what they needed to do and held their ground when it mattered most, and they got the double.